computerized engraver we're going to use it mainly when there's too many numbers that are going to be on the key typically the number all will fit four or five numbers or letters on the bottom portion of the key but on our primus uh, we sometimes we don't have room to you utilize all the space up here so whenever there's too many numbers or letters we'll use the computerized engraver so we'll start this machine there's a switch in the back and then here when it boots we're going to have to hit go to home and that's going to turn the drivers on we have to wait for it there we go the drivers are turned on now we'll wait for the software to upload in the meantime i'm going to set my keys on the tablet and then now we can open up vision pro 9 We are going to select file and we're going to hit the first one because the first one represents the TSUCS represents your classic keys that look like this. The Everest is going to represent the bigger ones. Okay. So those are the main two that I use. So I'm going to hit the first one. Then I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to hit multiples. Then you select the amount of keys that you put on the tablet, which is two in this case. I'm gonna highlight that text and hit okay. And now I can type in the letters and numbers, which in this case it's BB C A eight and then BB C A nine. Hit okay. Then I'm going to go to engrave output. Then I'm going to click this little pin. And then over here on the machine, when it's ready, it will have the flashing green light on the start button. And you just hit that. <laughs> And then from here on the software, I'm just going to X out of here. I'm going to hit no. Okay, if you hit yes, it's going to ask you to make some changes on the file. And then we're good to go.